Hey there everyone, this is Jeff here with Resistance EDM Sunday Spotlight for the 19th of January of 2014. Um, today, I've got a pretty nice lineup. Kind of forgot what the first three that I wrote down were, but the, the other three I found today, so it, it's a little bit more fresh in my mind. Um, I'm going to quickly throw this out there. Um, this doesn't have necessarily much to do with the spotlight, but it is somewhat important that I am considering a alias change from modify to circle effect. I'm not entirely sure yet, but for now, this particular spotlight, I will keep it as modify. Um, but in the future, if I do go through with this alias change, it might be circle effect, just to let you guys know. If I do that, it's still me, um, Jeffrey. The other Jeffrey is Cucumber. I think. I think that's him. Because that's how it is in the thing, in our little staff listing. Um, but yeah, that's the other Jeff. So there's two Jeffs now, as you know. Um, anyway, um, we're going to be starting off today with a really, really good remix I heard recently. Um, th that was released from Culture Code. Um, this is um, Reeves Raymond, I forgot the other people involved, um, with Brighter Lights. This remix that Culture Code did is amazing. Um, I've heard Culture Code's remix with remixes before, and they're nothing short from incredible. Um, Culture Code really knows what... I think it's... Is it two guys? I, I want to say it's two guys in Culture Code. I don't remember. But Culture Code knows what they're doing, and this song, this remix, really shows that. So we're starting today with a really awesome remix with Reeves Raymond, Brighter Lights, Culture Code Remix. So much brighter now 
so that was Reeves Raymond with Brighter Lights Culture Code Remix. Um, this next one was a recent release from our friend Burning Forest. Um, this one is drumstep, dubstepy. It's kind of in between that. There's not much of a difference between the two, really, but there is a difference, and you must know these differences. Um, but anyway, uh, Burning Forest did a really good job on this song. I'm, I really like this one, so um, it's nice to see Burning Forest getting back in the swing of things. You know, he hasn't really said anything too much recently. I think his last release was the one we had on uh, the Christmas with Resistance album. I think that was his last re release. I really don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, Burning Forest, if you're listening to this. Um, anyway, um, this song is called Hallucinate. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Burning Forest with Hallucinate.
Okay, so that was Hallucinate by Burning Forest. This next one um, is from Defiant. Yeah, this one is Defiant. Um, I was checking to make sure it was the wrong one. But um, this one is called Anger. Um, it's got kind of a dark step drum and bass, kind of a very interesting dark sound to it, and I like that. Uh, so, um, I gotta say, there's, I haven't heard a whole lot from Defiance, but this is, uh, of the ones I have heard, this one is one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like this one. This is Anger by Defiant.
Okay, so that was Defiant with Anger. This next one is... Let's see if I can pronounce this right. My paper and stuff. Elicrity? I think that's right. A-L-I-C-R-I-T-Y. I think I said that right. Anyway, um, this is a um, song called Starfall, um, remixed by Prisma. Um, this is a really nice remix. Being honest here, I forgot what genre it is, but I remember when I listened to it, it was it made me happy. So that's what matters, and that's why it's being featured. So, anyway, this is Elisra T with Starfall Prisma Remix.
Okay, next song. Um, this one is, um, let's see if I can pronounce this alias right. Myrn. Myrn. Myrn A. I really don't know how to pronounce this. Oh well, you'll see it in the description, you'll know how it's said there. But anyway, the name of the song is called Watchmaker. Um, it's, um, from Play Me Records, um, and, uh, if you know Play Me Records, they occasionally have free releases. Uh, you know, Siren Soul and Nautix are on it, and they occasionally release free songs. In fact, Siren Soul releases quite a bit of free songs, and one of the reasons why we love him, because he's awesome, and he makes good music. But that's not this song. So, anyway, this next song, however the heck you pronounce this guy's name, alias thing, with Watchmaker. So that was supposedly Myron, Myron, I, yeah, you get the point. I can't say this alias, um, with Watchmaker. Um, this, that last song and this one were last minute changes because for some reason my program that I'm using to record does not accept M4A from iTunes. So I'm like, well, okay then. Just screw me over and not let me share the songs, so I'll just save them for later uploads. But anyway, this one is also from Play Me Records. Um, this one is... Wait, let me see if I... Lochnar? I think that's right. Yeah, I think that is right. With Shatterdome. This one is a really cool song. Um, it's kind of bro-steppy, but not quite bro-steppy. It's kind of drum-step, but it's not quite drum-step. It's... It's always a good thing when you're not entirely sure what genre it is, and it's a really good song that shows that it's a unique song. So, 
For those of you producers listening, keep that in mind. If you can't figure out what genre it is and it sounds cool, you know you did something good. So anyway, um, this next song, finishing off tonight with Lochnar with Shatterdome. Shatter Dome. There we go. Sit it right.
Okay, so that was Lochnar with Shatterdome. Um, all right, well, I guess that's it for this week. Um, hope you guys like the show. Um, don't forget to check out Waffle Ninja's... I think he's keeping the mix idea constant now, so he's kind of always doing mixes while I always do radio show-like things, which is okay. Um, so anyway, in case you decided to skip me talking in the beginning and you're here now, Remember, I'm thinking about an alias change, and if I pull through with it, then, um, you know, it'll still be me. It'll just have a different alias. But, yeah. Um, no new announcements with Resistance stuff, so anyway, I guess that's it for this week's episode of the Sunday Spotlight. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, anyway, this is Jeff signing off from Sunday Spotlight for January 19th of 2014. Thanks for listening, guys, and see you later.